Will solar panels really lower my electric bill? Absolutely. One common misconception about solar is that it performs really well in hot temperatures. That couldn't be further from the truth. Solar panels will absolutely reduce your electric bill as long as they've been installed properly and they've been installed in areas that re receive adequate sunlight. You wanna avoid shading as much as possible, so you wanna keep spacing around any of your roof obstructions, such as he stacks and chimneys and piping vents and any obstruction that could be sticking out of your roof that could potentially cast a shade or a shadow on your solar panel. Different solar components react to shading differently. Microinverters do a great job of making sure that every panel is individualized and shading loss will only affect that specific panel and not the neighboring panels. In a string inverter, your solar panel is as strong as its weakest link. So having shade on one panel will impact the performance of several panels, kind of like Christmas lights. Solar panels are just like humans. They like operating in cooler temperatures, like 60 to 70 degree weather. Most optimal temperature for a solar panel is actually 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. Every degree Celsius above 25 degrees, solar panels will actually start lowering in efficiency. Every solar panel lowers at a different rate and that's what they call the thermal coefficient of a solar panel. Your most optimal solar production will happen during long, cool, sunny days such as days in May and days in October. Whereas in summertime, you will still produce a lot of power, but only because the lower efficiency is offset by longer days. Also, during the summertime, that's typically when you're peaking at your highest energy consumption because of your cooling system. That's why a lot of people think that solar is gonna perform the best in the summer, when in reality, the spring and fall are much better months, and those are months where typically you can generate credits, depending on your utility, to apply towards your summertime bills when temperatures are really hot, and in the winter, when the sun doesn't come out as much, and you have much less sunlight hours. Adding solar panels to your roof also add a natural layer of insulation to your roof. A lot of times we see that after a solar system is installed, the attic temperatures under the mounting planes where solar is installed are much more efficient and can drop in temperature one to three degrees. That reduces the impact on your HVAC system, which allows your HVAC system to last longer, work less hard, and lower your electric bill. If you have limited surface area, it's important to invest in a solar system that has higher efficiency than others. However, if you have plenty of roof space and a pretty efficient home, you don't really need the most efficient solar panel on the market. At that point, you can just install a few more solar panels that are less efficient and save a significant amount of money in the process. Having access to solar monitoring is critical. A lot of homeowners will invest in a solar system and have no way to track how their solar system is performing until they get a higher electric bill and start asking questions. Make sure to ask your installer or whoever is installing your system how you're going to be able to monitor your system, have them walk you through that monitoring software after the install, and check on your solar system's performance on a daily basis so you don't get surprised with a high electric bill at the end of your billing cycle. In addition to being able to monitor your solar's production, a lot of solar systems also come with monitors that allow you to see your home's energy consumption. Some of these allow you to see the consumption at the whole home level, and others allow you to see it at the individual appliance or breaker level. So just as a recap, solar panels will absolutely reduce your electric bill, and in some cases, they'll completely eliminate it and drive your bill into the negative. If you have any questions about going solar, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and got some educational value out of it. Share it with your friends and family that are looking into going solar. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so.